quick video here. We'll uh, do the real basics of computers. This is called a desktop. I know it may be setting on one, but that's what this picture screen is called. This is also called a taskbar. Taskbar has things like your clock, uh, your network, uh, background programs are all there. You notice when you hover and when you click, you get different things that happen. If you click here, get one set of menus, right click menus. You right click up here, you get a different, entirely different set of menus. And these are called um, radial buttons. These have programs attached. You can start them by clicking them or open them. Um, also, you have programs up here with uh, have these arrows on them sometimes or programs or you could have a folder or a document that you want easy access to can be there you can also go into not the power but the start button and the start button brings up a start menu now the start menu will have shortcuts over here to open uh, basically your uh, to to check your computer it's Windows Explorer as opposed to Internet Explorer which is the web browser you can go into your control panel and other things now you have programs that are here and that's called pinning these things on the bottom on the taskbar and these things on the start menu are called pinned you can unpin them from the start menu pin them or unpin them right here with the right click menu when you click in one of these two spots you can also click run as administrator if you're installing and have to install and run as an administrator that's what you would click in the right click menu also you'll notice properties if you need to change an icon or go back and it has no location or the location has no uh, has no executable file to open it up you have to go back in here and search for it and click it then it puts it in here you can apply and it'll then it'll work when you click the icon so there's programs there as well and here you've got four places now where you can find programs um, if we were to open a program you'll notice that you have menu bars you've got buttons these menu bars and your options are you get the same things like you would if you were over on your web browsers you sometimes don't have them along the top in this case you click that button and there in Google there is your menu bars you also notice you get a set of right clicks they vary every place that you go these are also radio buttons but these are shortcuts to websites they open websites for example and then depending on which browser you're using you can have different pages come up automatically at start uh, and you get different button configurations different options and menus depending so just simply going and searching around can help you to find uh, things there on your computer uh, one last thing I'll show you real quick if you need to create a shortcut you have the option to go in here where it says new you can place a folder on the desktop or a shortcut like these other shortcuts out here on the desktop simply clicking that going and finding wherever you might have the uh, where you may have the program located you go in and you'd find the program somewhere click on it follow the uh, click next and it will set it up there with an icon on the desktop in order to get rid of them without losing the program itself just the icon you can simply hit delete and the uh, or you can pin and unpin it and that will change that 
at a later time I'll <clears throat> go into some different things about how to uh, work with your properties. Um, you notice I have things you probably don't see on your right click menus here. I have a program that does that. I may go into some programs you can get that simplify the use of the computer like right click enhancer and other things. One last thing, if you go to shut down, if you need to restart, you can't just click the button, uh, especially in Windows 7 like in XP. You won't get this menu without hovering your mouse over it or clicking there on that arrow. Then it gives you the option to restart or to log off this account and go to another account on the shutdown button. Well, thank you and look for some new videos in the future.